Hello, so this walkthrough is going to go through the bubble map element. So how to add addresses, how to show something when you click a marker, how to show only things within x kilometers, and how only to show things between x and y kilometers of your location. Okay, so here we've got the map element. You can show just one marker, so your location, one restaurant, like your favorite one, or a list. We'll first go with a single. And then we're going to add restaurants one by one to our database. To do this, we've created a new data type called restaurant, which has an address type geographic address. So here, select geographic address and with a name. And the user also has a geographic address. Okay, here we've added an input. And we, when we click the create button, we create a new restaurant with the name of the input and the address of the map element center address. So it'll always take the center of the map. And then it'll reset. Okay, and so in this way, we can uh, just add restaurants. Let's take a look. So I'm just going to go here, for example, click on step by step, click flushing meadows, and, and click create. And it creates a new restaurant and with the map center address, as you can see. We go park. Okay. And now, after we add a few restaurants like this, we want to display all the restaurants. So instead, of we go for list and type of markers, all restaurants. If you want to show all users, for example, all users around you, like on Tinder, you might go for user. So all restaurants. And I searched through the database to find all restaurants. And it'll just look like this, showing all restaurants. What I can also do is you can see these markers. I can actually always show, for example, the name of the restaurant on the marker, or only if I click it. Or I can also add a workflow here when map is markers clicked. So this is underneath the empty box. And when a map's marker is clicked, I can show a group and display that this map's current marker in the group. So I've created this group over here, made it type restaurant, and have a text inside called parent group's restaurant's name. And sure enough, if I click, it'll show Flushing Meadows or Brooklyn Bar. OK, now I only want to show restaurants which are within, I don't know, five kilometers of my location, for instance. Might be a little difficult. As you saw, I'm in Munich, Germany, and the restaurants are in New York. So I'll have to make it 10,000 kilometers or something. But uh, first, what I'll have to do is search for restaurants, and then address is within, and then for example, the ionic range values, and then kilometers of current user address. So you start with the ionic range. This is um, this element here. You need to install the ionic elements plugin underneath add plugins to get this to work. Then here, this is just a slider, so it goes from zero to seven thousand in my case, and then. I take the current user's address. It's important that you actually update this. Otherwise, this field will just be empty to update this. I've added a workflow here. Um, I've clicked on the empty box and clicked do every five seconds. So now every five seconds, what it does is make changes to the current users and add, updates the address to the current geographic position of the current user. However, if you have a lot of users online, this means Bubble will constantly, every five seconds, have to update this. So another way you could do this is when an input's value is changed, so when the ionic range is linked, only when that is changed, you actually update the address of the user, for instance. OK. And we go over here now. And it should work. Let's have a look. So now we see nothing. And as we move the marker to the 7,000 kilometers, it suddenly shows it because I'm within range. Here again, nothing. And here it shows. OK. And now one more step more complex is you may want to have a range. So you want to show anything between 10 and 100 kilometers, but nothing above 100 and nothing less than 10. How would you do this? So we get rid of this, and at the end, we add filtered. And now we actually have to use an advanced filter down here, advanced. 
and then we take this restaurant's address, distance from, current user's address in kilometers, and then I believe it's greater than ionic range A value, and we can even have an AND, this restaurant's address, distance from, current user's address in kilometer, so greater and then maybe smaller equal to ionic range piece because we've got two of these range sliders. Of course, we could also just have an input where we type one and five and take this instead. Okay, let's have a look if this works. Might have got the equal sign wrong. Okay, now it uh, works. So I had to use both of them. And if we just click the map element using inspect, we can look and see that the ionic range A value and B's value are being used to show what is up on the map. Okay. So if you had to have users instead of restaurants, we would just go for users here and search for users and it'll immediately update it to users to show users within X kilometers of you for something like Tinder. Hope this helped you. For short tips on Bubble and more, check tipfister.com. Cheers.